Greetings, everyone. This is Matt Fiello from the Cisco Cloud Infrastructure Software Group, and I'm back with module number four of the Advantage IMM series. And we're going to highlight a brand new version of the IMM transition tool, version 301, that's just gone GA. And uh, I'd like to use this video um, to not necessarily cover the basics like the first two videos with UCS Manager transition, UCS Central transition. Uh, I'd like to use this video just to look over and, and cover the highlights of version three. It's a very rich version. We've done a great job with it from our development and uh, kudos to them. And uh, let me show you what that's all about. Okay, just a, a real brief refresher on the IMM transition tool. Um, as you know, uh, it's, a, it's an OVA install, and uh, this tool has the ability to go out to uh, a UCS manager domain target or a UCS central instance target and be able to grab the inventory and the configuration and pull that back into the transition tool, whereby there's two possible outputs, a, a readiness assessment report that kind of gives you the state of the union on whether your hardware in the case of UCS Manager or your configuration in the case of UCS Manager or UCS Central is supported in IMM. So it gives you the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's a very detailed report as anyone that has uh, ran the assessment uh, and, and reviewed it can understand. Um, and then the second part is you've just collected the configuration in XML format, the tool has converted that to JSON for you, and you have the ability then to push that to, to Cisco Intersight. Just to go over the new features of version 301, and some of these features I have uh, specifically highlighted, they're the bigger, bigger features, and I'm gonna go over those in the demonstration, but basically, Preserving the configuration identifiers, the IDs, the Macs, the worldwide no names, port names, et cetera, and, and be able to migrate service profiles uh, to Intersight server profiles, uh, certainly have this capability, one of the big, big heavy hitter capabilities with this uh, version. Uh, also, we're introducing a new thing uh, called cloning uh, an Intersight configuration. So if you want to go from um, as Intersight SaaS to an on-prem appliance, you can do that. If you want to go from an on-prem appliance to SaaS, you can clone that direction. Or you can actually just go from account A on Intersight uh, and clone it to account B on Intersight. Um, so a lot of flexibility, a lot of utility. So we're excited about this feature as well. And then another feature I'd like to highlight here, and I'll show you, is being able to map the UCS orgs or UCS central orgs to Intersight orgs. We have a new uh, uh, part of the UI that lets you uh, uh, select in the left pane, select in the right pane, create in the right pane for Intersight, merge those together and be able to match those up. And then you can get the, the desired org that you want in Intersight during the migration. Okay, let's move on to our first uh, demonstration. It will be a transition of a UCSM uh, domain to Intersight SaaS, and uh, we'll cover some of the new features to include migration of server profiles. Okay, let's uh, log into the IMM transition tool, and you can see we have version 3.0.1. We have our UCS domain, that is our target domain that will perform a transition against. And then I have an Intersight account. Uh, this is my transition account. So I keep this uh, empty. Uh, it, it plays well with demonstrations to show new objects showing up. So nothing there, no policies, no pools, no templates. And then uh, I have my connected virtual appliance from my lab. So uh, another Intersight instance, uh, the CVA. And uh, when you log in here, um, you'll also see that this is an empty connected virtual appliance. Uh, there's no pools, no policies. And we'll use this for the cloning operation, which is in the second demonstration. So let's go back to our transition tool. Let's uh, look at some proxy settings here. You might need these to to connect out from your environment. 
And then a, a new uh, capability here are default settings. So you can set some of these things uh, for transitions in advance. Uh, notice that we have service profiles turned on by default with version three. And some of these annoying passwords, you can pre-fill those uh, passwords uh, in the default settings. So just something new, it's enhancement, it's nice to have this. Let's go ahead and add a transition. A little bit of a change in the look and feel here, but you still wanna give it a friendly descriptive name. First box is just the report, um, but we're gonna do the report, the readiness report, and the ability to push to Intersight. And then the bottom one is the new functionality of the clone, and we'll come back to that. All right, so UCS Manager is our target, and we've already pre-populated our device tab, so we'll go ahead and select the proper uh, uh, UCS Manager from the pull-down. Um, we'll hit the refresh if you've already done a prior uh, configuration uh, collection, okay, and generated a readiness report. Uh, the refresh will actually go out there and um, get new data. So if you change something in the domain since your last run uh, of the IMM transition tool, you're going to need to hit that refresh to go invite another uh, data collection, configuration collection to get fresh data. And we're, uh, we're going through this pretty fast here. There's no use uh, watching grass grow. Okay, we're going to select the proper Intersight account. We're going to transition to SAS, specifically uh, the MAT transition account in SAS. The refresh is there in case you did a prior collection. Um, you can refresh the data that's cached in the tool. We're going to select uh, the service profile templates and service profiles that we want to migrate. We can select all by selecting root or pick and choose what we want. So I'm going to grab the template and um, several of the server service profiles that have been uh, signed to Blades. Okay, so here's the new UI capability here where you can do advanced organizational mapping. Okay, so you can add a new Intersight org that you want to migrate to. I'm gonna call it my new root, okay, um, as a new org. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the root org uh, from my UCSM domain and then select the two, uh, the, the, the my new root, and then I'm gonna mate them together, uh, map them, okay. And then when you select that, my new route, you see the actual visual mapping. So this is really cool. Imagine doing this uh, for different orgs. Uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, that's, a, that's a great capability that we've added, development added to this tool. So we're going to generate the, the readiness report. Finishes quickly because, again, my data has already been cached uh, from a prior run. Okay, report is finished, so we can view that online or download via PDF format. And I'm not going to go through a lot of details here, but you get an overall conversion score, both from a hardware perspective as well as your, uh, your logical configurations. Very detailed report. If you haven't seen one before, download, install the tool, run it against the UCS domain, and see all the details that are in there. You get some applicable warnings, things that don't quite convert from UCS Manager to IMM. It's not going to ever be a 100% every single setting of every single policy, uh, but there's no showstoppers. So let's go ahead and click Next. This is the uh, account that we're going to transition to. It's already been set. That's why it's grayed out. And you still have the ability to download the JSON, modify the JSON, and upload it.
but we're just going to go ahead and push this to uh, Intersight SAS. Okay, I've obviously sped that up. Uh, we have a uh, successful uh, transition completed properly. And you can see it here, it's completed. Let's go verify now. Okay, let's go to our Intersight SAS account and let's take a look at pools. And you can see that we've migrated the pools up to Intersight from UCS Manager. You can see that we've migrated the policies. You know, there's 36 total policies based on the service profile template and service profiles we selected to migrate. There's a template. Um, we can see that our server profiles, our serv service profiles got migrated to server profiles in Intersight. And of course our domain profile, which has been supported since the first version of the tool. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, settings and organizations. You can see that the organization that we typed in, my new root, and we mapped the org root to my new root. You can see that that's successfully in place. Let's go back to our first server profile. Let's go to the connectivity tab there and let's look at the MAC addresses assigned to our VNIX specifically VNIC zero. We're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to go back to uh, the transition tool. Kind of a new way you can, or a, a way you can verify. Go ahead and download that JSON configuration from the completed transition. And we're going to go ahead and open that up in the current browser here. So just bear with me. Okay, so now we're in that JSON file, and we're just going to search for that MAC address um, for VNIC0. And there we go. Okay, so we have VNIC0 actually assigned to that MAC address, as we would expect. Let's go ahead and check uh, VNIC1. Here you go. So you can uh, you can go to UCS Manager and do a side by side, or you can use that uh, uh, collected and converted JSON file uh, for the transition. Look at VNIC two. Okay, so everything matches up as we would expect. Okay, we've just successfully transitioned the configuration of a UCS manager domain up to our Intersight SaaS account. Now uh, we're going to go on to our uh, second demonstration, a uh, new capability in version 301 uh, uh, called cloning. And uh, we're going to clone that configuration from our Intersight SaaS account down to an on prem. Uh, connected virtual clients. Okay, and of course, uh, we can go in either direction. Uh, we can go to the PVA. Uh, we can go from a uh, Intersight SaaS account A to Intersight SaaS account B. Okay, so a lot of flexibility in this new capability. Okay, so let's do a, a new transition. This is going to be our cloning transition. So I'd like to put the, uh, the platforms uh, in the friendly name here, SAS to CVA. We're going to select that second, uh, third bullet down. Click next. Very easy to do. We're going to select our source Intersight account. In this case, it's the SAS um, Matt transition account. Then we're going to select the destination transition uh, account. In this case, it's going to be my connected virtual appliance in my lab. Um, you have a couple options here. You can overwrite existing uh, objects if you wish. And you can also strip out things like groups and user accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by default. And of course, we still have the ability to download the configuration, modify the JSON, and then upload uh, the configuration to be used. Still have that. And let's go ahead and perform our transition.
Now I've obviously sped things up. We have a uh, successful transition. And it shows up completed. And let's go over to our connected virtual appliance. Let's look at the pools. We can see that we've successfully migrated the pools. Uh, those 36 policies that we went from the domain up to SAS, Intersight, and we brought them down to the connected virtual appliance. Have our template, have our domain profile, and we have our server profiles. Okay, before we wrap up here, I'd like to uh, go over a few resources we have out there uh, on YouTube. Uh, we have the uh, first uh, IMM transition tool demo. Um, shows a UCS manager transition similar to what I've shown you here. Um, the, uh, the, the second video we did, Advantage IMM number three uh, overall session, um, it shows uh, version 201 and that's a UCS central transition. So if you're uh, dealing with central, uh, you might want to check out that video as well. Of course, uh, this, this uh, will be posted to YouTube and uh, this will be the latest, greatest of the tools. So always use uh, version 301. It is posted out there at ucstools.cloudapps.cisco.com. It's, it is free, of course. Uh, download this, get it in your lab, get some hands on with it and see what value it can bring to you. Uh, not only in the uh, readiness report, but also being able to do transitions to Intersight uh, IMM, Intersight Managed Mode. So with that, thank you. Appreciate your attention. Uh, appreciate any comments and feedback and uh, have a good one.